What's up, man? How you know, I'm chilling, man. Slag Rex, Slag Rex, and the Asian B. It was a real verite challenge. It was shot on Super 16. We had it in the steam back and it took a long time. It was very frustrating at times and very hard, but that's one of the challenges of when you do a verite film without narration. One of the things that editors all understand that the part of the process of editing is re-editing. And we have to have to have the ability and the patience to do it. And this sequence, like all the sequences in Style Wars, I think I edited it six, seven times. Re-edited it, re-edited it, re edited it. Because every time Tony Silver would come in and look at it, he never liked them. But he never knew why he didn't like them. So he would just go back and would re-edit and try it again, and he would say, well, I, this is not moving me, I'm not feeling it. And uh, the biggest challenge that documentary editors have is to stay to the task, you know, and never give up, and keep plugging and keep trying until you find it, or the director helps, and helps you say, okay, I think I see it, you know? And uh, it's one of the things I love about this process of editing, uh, that you can succeed wildly and you can fail miserably. I said, if I told you I did it, would you believe me? He said, I don't know, I can't say, but I believe so, because you don't never know what you can believe these days. So I said, well, I did. And they said, I don't believe that, you only got one arm. I said, that don't mean nothing. I do things that people don't realize I can do with this, but you know, being that I'm like this, you know? And then he said, I hear you then, Sonny. And then I said, well, I ain't no Sonny now. I just was asking a question, so you know, so that's all I wanted to know, to see how your feelings was about it. With all my years of experience, I've never edited anything, even now in the last few years, where the director would walk in and say on that first cut, it's perfect. Don't change it, Sam. You're so great. <laughs> it, it doesn't exist. It always works. You always have to change. You always have to realize that as hard as you will edit that first sequence, you're never going to be able to really get in the mind of the director and know exactly how they feel and what they want. They have to see it sometimes to say, oh, that's not what I want. We have to try it a different way. I need to go back and look at this outtake, so look at this footage to rethink the whole concept. Sometimes someone will say to you, well, you haven't set the table. You know, we don't know why we're supposed to watch this. And this is one of the big challenges with the Verite editors because we get so immersed into the footage and we find that moment in these sequences and we say, wow. Then someone comes along and will say to you, well, Sam, I don't understand why I'm supposed to watch this film. And then you have to think, what do I need to do now to rethink it? You know, it's always a big challenge for editors to, to go back and say, how do I now reshape the film so the audience will say, oh, I need to understand, this is why I need to see this film. In the place, you will get disgraced because we are the crew. We got the pain. Rock, shock it, rock, get in the pocket. I always think that after I finish a film, I try not to look at it for a while because usually I'm exhausted physically, emotionally, psychically. And I think, you know, man, this, is, this was such a hard film. And usually I don't really care about them much. What happens is, is that as years go by, it's like, you know, years go by, someone will say to me when I'm, you know, I'm teaching at NYU, a student would come in, I would advise, and they would say, oh, did you edit Star Wars? I said, oh yeah, oh, that's great. And I would say, oh, really? And I'd go back and I'd look and say, oh, there's some good stuff in it. Game of trash, let's go to brand new star. Can't cut through the park. Cause it's crazy after dark. Keep my hand on my gun, cause they got me on the run. I feel like an outlaw. Broke my last glass jaw. Hear them say, you want some more living on a seesaw. You know, to me, as an editor, part of the responsibility, part of our job is to to be very, very ferocious about what we try to make in terms of the craft and shaping the story and finding the dynamics and character, but also to be humble about it because, you know, we're, we're, we're there to serve the story and to serve the characters, you know, and not let our ego say, wow, look what great a job I did. That's not our job. It's to really make a film, to be storytellers. That's what we all are, storytellers. Don't push me, cause I'm close to the edge. I'm trying not to lose my head.